Dr. Neeraj, welcome back to my channel. I'm working in Volega University, Department of Management as Associate Professor. And today I want to talk about Likert or Likert scale. And the objective of this tutorial is how to make a plot in R. We can also do coding and uh, things like that, but you can do it easily in Excel or SPSS data. That is not a big thing. So instead of just uh, getting into all that, I am making a plot today. So let me straight away start with importing the data. It is a CSV file, so I will take from text. I will browse and select my file and open it. I can copy the command. So that I don't have to open this window again and again. And I can put this command in my program. I will click import. I will copy my commands. I can change, I can keep the file as same or I can make it like this one, df dot original. I always try to do this from now onwards because we should know our original file and we don't want to change it or mutate it. That is a good practice. Then again, we want to view this file that is df dot original then select and control enter now i have df original and i can remove this one this is our file which we are going to work today which on which we are going to work on today So it has so many questions of the survey and it has some response response r3 r6 r5 your response could be r1 r2 r3 or it can be strongly agree strongly disagree neutral one two three four that does not matter so whatever is there you can put it so we already have this file now and we can see how many data we have 321 observations we have and we have the name of the files as well so now uh, my aim is to show this particular data in the form of plot so how to do it so we can do one thing first that we can convert this file into a data frame so we will make a new file df1 and convert this file to data frame by putting this command data see there is data dot frame there is, there is data underscore frame so we have to use data dot frame and what is our file name my file name is df dot original and I press control enter and we can see that we have got the lovely file over here and if I click this double click this and I can see my file over here so we have got this as a data frame so next step would be to see this file in terms of variable types so we, what we are going to do is we have to write structure and df1 control enter and you can see that it is character types which i don't want because i am going to use the library which i have not written library likert or likert that's it and control enter 
please friends if you have not downloaded this library if you have not downloaded this library you have to write the command again i'm writing hash install dot packages like it like this you have to remove the hash also for radar for everything so i'm just putting it as a comment as of now because i have already done that again and again we don't have to do it it takes time and unnecessarily will make the tutorial bigger now now we have this structure of df1 which we don't want so let me make it into a factor so again we will save this factor 5 into df say 2 and now i will use a command called mutate underscore if mutate if df1 is character and if it is a character converted into as factor yes now what it means mutate df2 mutate to df2 if mutate df1 mutate if df1 df1 is our data frame which is a character mutate if data frame 1 is character is character will give true or false to mutate function so it will show true because we have seen that structure is character suppose it is numeric then we have to write is numeric and if it is character then what this particular mutate should do it should change the data frame to factor and after changing please store it in df2 so let us do the magic so we have df2 let us see what df2 is all about df2 df2 is all about factors now characters are gone so when we are using a liquid package or function we have to see two things one it should be factor so i've converted the character into factor second thing which i have to say is the scale or the level all questions like question number two should I be having level five this is also level five all should be level five if one is four or three then it will be an error so luckily for us we don't have any such issues and then let us uh, convert this df2 into a liquid type of data frame so we'll store it in df3 and liquid or likert or whatever and then we have to convert df2 file into liquor type of file and store it in df3 control enter now we have this liquor type of file list of six so df3 is a liquor file now what we have to do now i have to plot the liquor scale i can say plot and we have to write d f two or three three because 
bf2 is only a factor in a data frame format from data frame format i have to convert it into Likert and store it in df3 so df3 is a Likert format and then i have to plot the Likert format i am sorry there was some issue for uh, battery or power and now we are back so now we were saying i was talking about that df2 df3 and then df3 is a Likert uh, format so we plot the Likert format df3 and then we press enter control enter and we want to keep it a little big sure so that the graph is good even we can zoom it because of light issue maybe we have to again run the file if it does not come Okay, let me run it again. Control A, Control Enter. Okay. Now what I am going to do is I am going to give you the data and the file in the link in my description. You can use it for practicing. Yeah, wow. It has come. You can zoom this. And this is our uh, beautiful plot, which is showing us our response for the survey. Quite uh, self-explanatory but still I will tell you like for example these are the responses it can be one two three four five or any number so in between this one is the neutral so that percentage of neutral is mentioned on the right it is positive on the left it is negative so you can see that say question number four is quite positive more positive and less negative people are more in favor of this question number four so uh says for example 63 percent have said positive 31 are neutral 63 plus 31 is 64 74 84 94 94 yeah yeah 94 94 plus 5% over here 99 generally it is 100% but maybe one record here and they're missing say for say some other one 62% positive 62 plus again 32 64 84 94 94 plus 6 is 100 maybe some record is missing that's why 
but generally it is 100 percent so like 50 plus 17 67 67 plus 3 70 plus 30 100 so this is what it is it is like a scale we can always say that like question number nine is only three percent negative and you know 36 percent neutral but 60 percent is positive so this particular plot you can use basically in your uh, publications in your uh, if uh, this uh, thesis or dissertation to give a very good uh, you know uh, impression of your uh, idea of data so that's all about for today thank you very much for giving your time i will try to bring more topics on r and statistics catch you along with other things in the next time thank you very much